Hey, just Jay here. Today I want to talk about camera straps. Now, this is a specific camera strap that I put together. I was recently out on a shoot in Hawaii, and I didn't know that I was going to be going up on a helicopter on one of those days. And one of the rules of shooting in a helicopter is you need to have a neck strap or some sort of tether to your camera. Um, and I just don't shoot with one. I never have and never really liked having the the neck strap around me. If I'm doing stills, that's totally fine. But for the most part, I've got these Manfrotto quick release plates on the bottom of all of my cameras and all of my gear have the same quick release system. So I need, I love being able to just go from one thing to the next to the next without having to undo any plates or do any of that. Um, and a long neck strap tends to swing and get in the way. So if I'm on a steady cam, it's just gonna get tangled up and knock off the balance really bad. Um, and you can do a quick release camera strap on there, but I just never really liked that system. Um, so anyway, uh, they also, I was looking into getting like a hand strap that goes from under here, under the tripod plate to up here and you slide your hand in and you got a nice grip. And I really like the idea of those, but in practice, they tend to cover up your battery slot. Uh, they either go underneath the tripod plate, which makes it not hold on as nicely um, or they replace the tripod plate altogether and so then you have to take the tripod plate off and put it back on and all that stuff every time you want to use it which just I don't like that option so anyway I was out in Hawaii and I was on Poipu Beach and the surf shop there I went in and I was like hey I need to get some sort of a camera strap for the shoot that I'm doing tomorrow uh, what do you guys have what can we rig up and as we were looking around, the, we looked and saw, hey, maybe a, a bodyboarding strap would work. And lo and behold, they had these really short ones. And this is Clark Little Photography makes this specific one. I looked him up online and I found his photography, but I didn't find these actual straps on his website. So uh, if he sells them online, somebody post the link to it. Or if you find something exactly like this, let me know the link because I wasn't able to find anything. But the nice thing about a system like this is bodyboarding straps on the high end are about $30. And so that you're ranging from like $10, $15 to $30 for one. And a regular bodyboarding strap will have a coil in it, which is totally fine too. Just know if you drop your camera, it's gonna like bounce and be springy and it's gonna be a little bit longer. But I'm sure you can modify it so it's a lot shorter like this. Now what I did is I just added a little carabiner to the end and then on the GH4 it actually has little eyelets already on there. Well on the on the Canon 60D here I had to add a ring but that ring can just stay on there and then I can clip in and bam that's way more secure than a neck strap in my opinion. Yeah I don't want to like drop my camera and purposefully have it on there but at least that gives me that added level of protection and I can still move around do other things I can quickly take this off and do whatever I need to do put it on whatever gear. Another thing that I did with this is I was able to hook in my GoPro so when I was swimming underwater I could have my GoPro hanging and, and swim and then be able to grab it really quick and be able to use my GoPro with this. Uh, so all in all like if you if you can find a bodyboarding strap for pretty cheap and modify it to be shorter or find one of these by Clark Little uh, it's a great option I love this little thing hopefully that helps you out and gives you some ideas on how you could potentially have a secure strap that doesn't get in the way of your workflow and how you shoot if you found this video useful go ahead and like comment subscribe or if you hated it let me know that too I try to answer every single question and comment as soon as I can. So if you leave a comment or anything, I'll be sure to get to you. So anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and check out some of my other videos.